We got a 2007 Yamaha G29 in here. Uh, we're gonna show you how to replace a Ford reverse switch on it. This particular car's been at the beach and the oxidation um, corrosion's got to it over time. Um, fairly straightforward job, easy to do with a few hand tools. Um, first thing electrical, if you're messing with anything like that, you're gonna need to disconnect the battery and flip the tow uh, run switch off. Move this seat. You're gonna flip the tow run switch to tow. You're gonna come over here, the first battery in a series where everything's connected and remove the negative. Um, this is a 14 millimeter nut. So we're gonna just loosen this up, move all these wires out of the way. With all these out of the way, no power's getting to it. And you're gonna come over here next. The switch is right here and it's under this, the cup holders. Um, there's one bolt you need to take out. It's a three millimeter Allen. So you just remove this. Set that in there. And then you pretty much pull up on the front and it'll pop out of place. So put that out of place, it lets you get to all this electrical, electrical stuff down here. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is come to where it is in the wiring harness and disconnect it. You're gonna depress this tab and just separate these two connectors. With that separated, the switch is being held in on each side by two tabs. You gotta depress these tabs and it's gonna slide out through the front. So you gotta, gotta simultaneously push in each tab on the side and then just pull it out through the front hole. Get that out. The new one is gonna go in just in reverse order. So, I'm gonna slide this in here, pop it into place. The new tabs are gonna hold it secure. You can't push it back through. Come back to your connector. Just push them till they click. They won't pull back apart. And then you're gonna take the cup holders. There's little tabs on the front of this. And they'll line up. I mean, there's only one way this goes in to line up. You gotta push it down and it'll snap into place. Come back here and take your bolt, snug that back up, now that's done, we can come over here and connect all these back to our negative post. As you can see this one's got a lot of stuff on it. Tighten this nut back up and you want to make sure it's tight. Any loose connection will let your battery drain. So now that's tight. Put the unswitch back on. Come over here. She's working again. 